Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this video, we're going to look at the new features and changes rolling out with Windows 11 build 26200.5562, also known as the update KV5055642 in the dev channel. This video also applies to Windows 11 build 26120.3872, also known as the KV5055640 in the VETA channel, as it includes the same features and changes. It is important to know that it is still unclear if these improvements will become available for version 24H2 or if Microsoft plans these changes for version 25H2, which is expected to arrive by the end of 2025. Okay, let's dive into the new changes for Windows 11. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. You can also visit my website for more tutorials and related tech news. Okay, first let's look at the new features coming to click to do. First, you're going to need to install the reading coach app from the microsoft store then when you see click to do and you select some text and you right click on that selection you're going to notice two new features including practice and reading coach and read with immersive reader the practice and reading coach opens up the reading coach app with the selected text and basically this feature allows the system to provide feedback when reading aloud selected text. So I'm just going to do a quick demo. So I'm just going to click right here and start and then you just wait a few seconds and then you just go for it. Practice in reading coach, improve your reading fluency and pronunciation with the practice reading coach. So I'm just going to pause it right here and this is going to analyze the result and it's going to give you some feedback. The second option, read with the immersive reader, will open the same reading coach app, but this time you will get the text without any clutter for a better reading experience. You can ask the system to read the text out loud. And you also have different options that you can use, such as highlight the nouns, verbs, and then you have other options as well. Now, if this feature looks familiar, that's because it's very similar to the immersive reader mode that is available on the Microsoft Edge browser. The click to do features are now rolling out gradually for ARM Copala Plus PCs, but Microsoft says that AMD and Intel Copala Plus PCs will get them soon. Now on bill 26200.5562, the company notes that users in Europe will be able to find photos in the cloud using natural language through the search box, which is part of the semantic indexing feature for Windows Search, which basically is an AI feature that works with Search. So just to give you an example, if I click on Search right here, and then I'm going to look for a known image that I have, which is a picture of a bear. And if I just filter this out by photos, you can see that this picture is actually in the cloud and it doesn't include any reference that this picture includes a bear in it. So now the system is using AI to identify the, to identify the image. Now, this has been available on, in other markets, but now it's just coming to Europe. In addition, when using search, pictures stored locally on your computer will also show up in the result, as well as exact keyword matches for cloud searches. This feature is also right now rolling out for Copala Plus PCs using ARM processors, but Microsoft says that AMD and Intel Copala Plus PCs will get them soon. Furthermore, as part of the search improvements, the search permissions settings page includes a new options to disable search for content saved in the cloud for Copala Plus PC. Currently, it only works for the search box in the taskbar, but it will eventually expand to File Explorer. Now, in this release, Windows 11 also introduces the ability to add custom words to the dictionary for voice access, including words that are difficult to pronounce to help improve dictation accuracy. Now, to demo that feature, I'm going to open the settings app and then I'm going to go to voice access. I'm going to turn this on. Now, you can actually add new words to the dictionary after using the spell that or correct that commands or even using the add to vocabulary command. However, you can also open the settings right here and then just click on add to vocabulary option and from here, you can add the words that you want the system to remember. Now, the company has also updated the quick settings flyout for accessibility that allows you to enable and disable voice access. The option is this one right here. And finally, Windows Access can now announce new features and improvements to help you discover and learn more about the experience. Now, as part of the changes for File Explorer, the company is making changes so that locations that you try to open from another application, it will open in a new tab instead of opening a new instance. So for some reason, I don't have this feature on my computer. However, if we look for the run command, 
again and let's say that we try to open the programs folder now, as you can see now it opens in a separate tab but the idea is that it will open in a new tab on the same instance so basically you should be able to find that option right here however as you can see i don't have it and as you can see in this example this is the option that in the future will be available on the folders options page in order to open the desktop folders and external links in a new tab now in this release microsoft is also updating the windows security app more specifically on device security and on security processor so right here on this page the system should now be able to show the manufacturer and version for the tpn module for the microsoft pluton chip and finally as part of the biggest changes for this release if we go to the settings app and then we go more specifically to the printer external scanner settings and if we try to rename a printer now this dialog box has been updated so it now matches the design language that we see across windows 11 and and those are pretty much all the new features rolling out in the latest preview of Windows 11 for the dev and beta channel. These releases also include a few other fixes and changes for the start menu, taskbar, input, test manager, and voice access. And you can check the video description to get a link to a written article with all the details about this particular release. Let me know in the comments what you think about these new changes. Also like and share the video. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.